and welcome to the Nexus. Today we're doing Disney Dolls House issue 108. So let's get looking at what we get. Right, so here we have a whole load of bits of the frame for our base so that will be dealt with soon and then we have our screws and our allen key self-explanatory and we have our alice the last figurine as well is it the last yeah. one yep yeah, it's the last figurine uh so, so that's all the whole we've got every main character if you're doing this Without the premium subscription, uh, we've now got all the main characters for the yep. rooms. And, and we also on. get our Disney Dolls House plaque. Which is different than what is. Yeah. So you can see there, it's... Uh, hang on a second, let me turn this off. Anyway. So as you can see there, it's sort of like a pink sticker. But actually, we're getting like a gold plaque, which I think is better. Yeah. Uh, it looks nicer. Is it's that, a gold metal plaque. Is that what that so you can see. You see that? No, that's for the battery bat at least, yeah. but we'll come on to that. Yeah. Okay. Right, so let's get started with our build. Okay, so um, when we build this, we've got all the parts to make the, the round, the, the base section basically. But in this issue, we're only going to be using half of them. Um, we'll have a look keep, uh, at what's coming in the next issue, issue 109. But we do effect, we've do we effectively finished the base. So the other piece that we have not not going to put on today, we're going to put on in the next issue. Uh, so basically on this one, we are going to be concentrating on the two sides of the house and the back of the house. The front section of the house, we're not doing. So what you're going to need to do is place this somewhere um, safe because you will need that. You're not going to use all the screws neither so you're going to have to put a packet of them I would say away and to also make sure you keep the allen key as well. So it doesn't matter if you haven't got any of these sort of tools because they are provided. So we do need our wood glue because we're going to be gluing some, some pieces down and we're also going to obviously be uh, screwing some of these down as well like i said we're not going to use all these pieces uh the pieces that we do need i'm just going to grab okay so uh we get some and we, we're going to use some so these th these things here so we're going to need to put them away um that one we're going to have to put away and that one uh, oh no, no, it's just this one. So A6 gets put away. Uh, that is for the Winnie the Pooh draw. So we don't do it in this issue, but we will be doing it in the next one. It's the only one that doesn't have any screw holes in it because of where it's got to be placed. But we're not actually putting that on this time round. So we need to put that one safely aside as well. Uh, we need to grab two of these. Two A1s, um, we've got A1s, A4s and A2s. We're going to be using the majority of these, but there is some that we're not. So we, as we come to it, when we come to building the parts, I will tell you what I need. We'll have a look, see what's left over anyway. I'm going to, at the end of this video, show you what's left over and what we're going to be using in the next issue. Though we've got all the parts, by the way, we've, we've not only got these parts, we've also got all the wooden parts for these as well. Um, but in this issue, we don't stick them together. It is... We could go ahead and do that, but it's not asking us to do that anyway in this issue. So without further ado, let's go to the house and start building. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is follow this diagram here and match up all the pieces that we're going to be fitting on. So this is what I'm doing here at the moment. So make sure you follow this to the letter. Now I have found that um, A1 has been... Um, mislabeled along here so my advice would be to follow this in here it's very small you can make it out though 
rather than the instruction bit down the bottom here because it doesn't make any sense. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to screwing all of this and we have to leave a little gap on each one. That is, um, there's a reason for that and we'll get around to that. So firstly what I'm going to do is screw all these up using the hex key and screws that we've got. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, as you can see we've done that and we've come along here like this and we've done these little bits. Now I've left off L, we're supposed to left off panel L which will sit here but we're going to leave that off for now. And what we're going to do is start sticking them along the back here. So the first thing we need to do, also as you can see, they are not fully screwed. We have to leave it so they wobble. As you can see, there's a reason for that and that is because of attaching it to these sections here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to attach this here. And this is going to sit just in there like that and we're going to glue the bottom of this with our wood glue and attach this in the, just like that just like this uh, and i'll have a look at the end result okay so that one is on like that now it's on we're going to get down the side here i don't know if you can make that out I, it's only so far i can push it here but we're going to get the uh our hex key and we're now going to tighten the screw up and I'm also going to go ahead and we're going to attach the rest of these. So I think that one, no, that's the next one. So that's the next one that goes along. And then uh, this one, which will go here. So I'm going to do that now. And then we're going to tighten them all up through the hex key just along the backs here. So it's nice and tight. 2,000 years later. Okay, that was incredibly time consuming. That was, I don't know how well that's coming out, but yeah, the little gap where you put this down, I'm gonna try and show you. It's, yeah, it takes f forever, but we have got the first parts on. The next part is this little end. So this one's gonna go in Just here, like so. Uh, and then this part is going to go in, and that is going to sit just here, because this is for our battery box. Um, uh, I've put that on the wrong side. It's supposed to be on that. I've put this on the wrong side. So I'm going to unscrew that and put it on this side, and that goes, that will sit just there. So I'm going to go ahead and do all that. Okay, so before we put that in, we are just going to put this one in just here. And this one's going to also be screwed in. So I'm just going to shift it across here. Then this one is going to sit like that in between the both of them. So, sorry. Uh, yeah, so that's going to be slided in like this. And then we're going to use the screw, the hex screw to screw it in. Then we're going to stick this one. in there like that and then we'll have a look at the end result okay so there you go so there's that section in uh we've now done along the back we're now going to start along the side here so we just need to repeat the process that we've done before so we need to grab an a1 and put a uh, wall o in place and then we also need to grab a5 there and put the p on. So I'm going to do that now and then we'll see where they go on the build which I think they go just along here So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so we've done that which is here. So as I do that you can see So that is not Wall uh, Q it's that it's Q sorry not zero or O uh, It does go into O which are these two bits here, but actually it's the Q part Secondly, this part here says wall P. Well, wall P is W. So it's, you know, I don't really know why, but that's that's it there, as you can see. So that bit there, which is, uh, it says wall, zero, wall, wall O, but it's actually Q. We are going to sit along there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. 
Okay, so now it is it's important that you get there's a little groove here as you can see and it fits into the side of the house here it's a two-person job so you will need someone else to do this because in order to click it in you have to lift the house um, because it's it's sort of like on a little lip here um, I'm just now going to put this extra screw in so I've done these two on the inside there is one here extra one that needs to go in just I don't know if you can make that out, Kirst. Yeah. Just in here to secure that down. And it's a little bit of a pain in the bum. A bit fiddly. Yeah. Because of Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and screw this in now. Okay, so we've done this. We've tightened all this up now. Next, we're going to put in this one, which is T. And obviously, you can see that. So that's going to go sort of in there. So I'm going to glue that down in just a minute. But it needs to... There we go, just like that. I'll glue that in just a minute. Okay, so the next one we're gonna put in is, yep, so W, which is this one here. So that will sit in like that. And then the U, the one that goes in there, we're gonna sit in as well. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so there you go, it's, just, uh, it's all in. That is easier to screw in, that's probably the easiest one because uh, you can actually get behind it, just like this one here. Um, and then I've just obviously slid this one in. They're all uh, just secured in for now. Obviously I have broken a slat by putting stuff in. It doesn't really matter. It's not gonna matter too much. Okay, so let's have a look, see what parts we've got left, and we'll go from there. Okay, so what we have left, we have our, our one that will go along the Winnie the Pooh's room. I think this just gets glued on. Um, the only problem with that is pulling it in and out because obviously it being a drawer sort of thing. So I may have to put some super glue on this other than wood glue just to secure it down a bit more. But that's for Winnie the Pooh's room. We also got our plaque as well, which will go eventually on one of these parts here. Once again, I've got a funny feeling we're going to be gluing that down because there's no other way of putting it. So that will probably sit on something like that. So we've got three slats left, which are the front of the house. We've got uh, our three um, bits for the front of the house. Once again, we could actually put these on because we've got all the parts. We've got the screws and... Um, We've got these parts as well. It's pretty straightforward and where they go. They go along the very front of the house. So it's pretty straightforward, really. So let's take a look and see what comes in issue 109. Okay, so in issue 109, we get a vase for the frozen room. And we get one of the big pictures as well. And as you can see here from this photo, we complete the base. So we're going to be putting on these bits, but also the tiled area. This area here as well all the way around the house so effectively the base is complete in the next issue now uh, issue 110 if you're interested will be the stairs uh, and I think issue 111 is this part here the start of the veranda like that um, that's issue 111 uh, then 112 we're doing the wall at the back of the house but we're getting too far ahead now. Anyway, issue 109, we complete the base. We get a nice frozen vase and a frozen picture as well, which is really cool. So that's a big one of the big pictures that we get. That's what comes in the next issue. As always, thanks for watching. Keep it the Nexus and uh, click like, subscribe, comment as well. And as always, we'll see you at the next video. Take it easy.